What do you think, Tim? A deeper rest, go to the left. That's a sure sign it's the wrong road. How do you figure that, Tubo? <laughs> More people get lost in Buonacini than find their way. You think if the local Maharaja was so anxious to put this country on the map, it'd be one road we could travel on. Yeah, well, there's the dam. Well, there's no mean mud puddling back of that. Yeah, we gotta go down that valley. It's kind of rock at the end of it. Came from over there. His name was Hanley. The other two guys are Smith and Jeffers. Hello? Hello, who is this? Well, I want to speak to George Baylor. Well, Baylor. Well, right away, I don't care if you have to get him out of bed. There's been trouble at... Where are we? Camp number three. Camp number three. It's a massacre. Hello? Cut off. What now? Hello? You are not wanted here. The doom of Recalone is upon Bowani Thini. Go back where you came from. I'm George Baylor. The clerk down in my office got your message last night. I'm sorry we were so long getting here. My husband, him all right. Take care of things, will you, Doc? Sure. Lend a hand here. Shall we go inside? I didn't know they were sending me two men. Which one of you is Chambers? Now, Chambers got sick the last minute. I'm Tim Kelly, and this is Tubo Smith. Scott thought you wouldn't mind having an extra man. Mind? I wish you'd sent me an army if this trouble continues. Trouble's something new around here, isn't it? I thought the local Maharaja was back of all these projects 100%. He is, but his people aren't. When you start lifting the face of a country as old as Boanisini, you discover that what you've been working on is not a face, but a mask. A thin veneer covering something that hasn't been touched in 10,000 years. I thought I understood these people and could help them. Now I don't know. Scott called you a missionary with an engineer's degree. I guess he isn't far wrong at that. Only the light I want to bring them is in the form of kilowatts. You know, there's a wealth of natural resources in Buanisini. Power, industry, and with proper irrigation and farming, this little border country could become a model for all the rest of Asia to follow. But the job isn't half done yet, and it may never be, thanks to the Mohazanim. And what are the Mohazanim? Mahazanim is a religious sect that has successfully been putting a superstitious monkey wrench into the works. Ready to go when you are. Mr. Kelly, Smith, Doc Felson. Oh. Doc is the true humanitarian. He spent the best years of his life trying to pound some simple facts of health into the stubborn minds around here. I finally got the royal cook of the palace to boil the water. But he wears it in a flask hung around his neck to ward off the evil spirits. We've loaded the bodies aboard the supply truck for the trip back. Anything else to go? We'd better collect the records and any personal things. I'm afraid camp number three will have to be shut down for a while. We're here to take any orders, Mr. Baylor. 
Thanks, but that doesn't include making yourselves human targets for a Muhazanim knife. As a matter of fact, you fellows have my permission to turn right around and leave. We'll stay as long as you do, Mr. Bailey. Well, we'd better finish up here. If we get back in time, you can have an audience with the Maharaja. His Highness has arranged for you to have these quarters during your stay at the palace, Saibs. Hey, that's pretty classy. His Highness would be honored to have your company at supper this evening. Tell the Maharaj we'd be delighted. The servants speak English. You have only to make your wishes known. I think we can unpack by ourselves, don't you two, Bowen? If we need anything, we'll call. Your Highness. Leave us. I am the Maharaja's sister. Tubo Smith, that's your service, ma'am. I mean, Your Highness. This is Mr. Kelly. How do you do? What I have to say would be best not overheard. You will close the door, please. How can we help you, Your Highness? I want you to convince the Maharaja that he must abandon his plans for modernizing Buonasini. But why? All I can tell you is that unless the work is stopped, something too terrible to describe will happen to the city and to all its people. Like the doom of Rakhalan? Where did you hear that? Oh, a telephone conversation I had not too long ago. The guy on the other end of the line wasn't too friendly. As a matter of fact, he told us to get out of Buonasini and go back where he came from or else. And you must. There's an ancient prophecy in the land foretelling the complete destruction of Rakhalan if the people change their ways. From what I understand, that's a lot of Mahazan and propaganda. You're an educated woman, Your Highness. And does an education shut or open the doors to the mind? Tell us about the Mahazan of Your Highness. Perhaps if we know what they are and how they work, we can help you. Very well. The name Mahazana means the possessed ones. These people believe that they are inhabited by spirits from the past. These spirits take possession of their bodies and force them to deeds not of their own choosing. Anyone might become so possessed. When the sign that he's been called appears on the back of the hand, the man knows that he has been chosen a Mahazanim and then takes part in the ceremony. Can you describe this sign? It is a dark spot or a ring which appears here. All the standard trappings of the Mafia, the Black Dragon, or any other political secret society. I think it would be a grave mistake to halt the construction work at this time. Don't take it so hard, Your Highness. Change is progress, and progress is change. And change will destroy Rakhalon. Good evening, gentlemen. Wait a minute. Hey, Tim. What's to prevent this goofy sect from trying to make that prophecy come true? Have you thought of that possibility, Your Highness? How could they do that? Well, they might try to crack the dam with a few hundred cases of dynamite. That would do it. No, that would be impossible. A Mahazanim is forbidden to touch any but the devices and weapons of his ancestors. I wouldn't bank on that. There could be an exception. Nonetheless, gentlemen, the taboo is quite real. Your Highness, does this taboo include using the telephone? Certainly. Thank you very much, Your Highness. You've been a great help. Her Highness is right. That guy who invited us out of the country last night wasn't a bona fide member of the club. That's right. Well, let's get a move on. We're going to be late to the Maharaja's party. Him! A gun, quick! You think they really want us to leave? Modern hydroelectric engineering. I have read it. I have read most of these books, and they're all technical. I find them the most fascinating reading in the world. His Highness has one of the most complete technological libraries to be found anywhere outside of a university. These books are the foundation of the new city I'm building in Buani Sine. The old men among my people complain. They say that I am wasting the treasure of the temples and practically guaranteeing the destruction of Rakhalon. But they, like my sister, have not read these books. They still believe in the nonsense of the ancient prophecies. The Muhazanim have mixed a little mayhem in with their nonsense, Your Highness. The Muhazanim have been outlawed. They represent the rotten core of this country that must be removed. 
That is far more easily said than done, my brother. One might as well try to outlaw a dream or to remove the past. Let the dead past bury its dead. You may quote Longfellow all you like, and still the ghosts from the past will not stay buried. They will return and possess the living. You will excuse me, gentlemen. I've suddenly contracted a severe headache. You must try and forgive my sister. She still believes in spirits and elves and things. What about this dark mark that uh, appears on the back of the hand before a person becomes a Mahasanam? How did you explain that, Doctor? The stigmata? Without question, it is psychosomatic in nature. Hives come under that category and warts. We used to prescribe spunk water for removing warts. Then you think a strong emotional or a mental stimuli could be responsible? Without a doubt. Like this? The mark of the Mohazanim. We see it. What a night. Wouldn't take much to start me packing. I know what you mean. First a cobra in the closet, then an assassin waiting on table. Hey, how'd you spot him? I only serve that plate of fruit, but that's not what's bothering me. I want to know who's really behind this thing. Well, you don't buy that religious fanatic bit, do you? Well, they're being used all right. But the girl said that the natives wouldn't touch a modern device. Who made that phone call? What about Baylor? Oh, he's got a fat building contract with the Maharaja. He wouldn't want to stop it. Oh. Same thing with the doc. No motive. How about the Maharaja's sister? What do you wish to know, gentlemen? Well, they didn't tell us there was a back door to this place. I've been waiting for you since dinner. You left before the shooting started, Your Highness. I heard of it. An unnecessary killing. That unfortunate man did not ask to become a member of the Mahazanim. He was chosen. You mean that mark on the back of his hand just appeared? You still don't believe, do you? No. Then look. Now you know. When did this happen? Tonight. It just suddenly appeared. Now will you believe in the power of the Mahazanim? Well, I believe in their power, but I don't believe they put that spot on your hand. Then what did? I don't know yet. That spot means you're to attend the next meeting, doesn't it? No, women are not permitted to attend. I shall probably receive instructions later. But you know when the ceremony is? Tonight, I believe. Good. That's where we're going. That's impossible. You know the place? Well, yes, but... Bring two black robes. Two will now fake the spots on our hands. Why? Why should I take you there? To prove your point. Or ours. And what is your point? But these killings and riots are... Well, they just aren't revolt of your people. I can't do it. Why not? Don't you understand if we're caught, it would mean instant death? If you don't... It'll mean that you're deeper in this than we'd like to believe. I've told you everything I know. You can't force me to take you there. But we can tell your brother. If I were to take you there, and if you were to see with your own eyes that Mahazanim is the will of the people, what then? We tell Mr. Bailey that you're right. Tubo and I would leave your country. Very well. Outside the west gate at midnight, I shall bring you robes. Do not speak. Keep your faces covered.
intruders from the West. Unless they die, Rockalone is doomed. Perhaps you like to see this monkey priest face. Oh, ore, leore, lukare, jarabarakaisin, luka dan korai. Hi, Doc. My house didn't like the idea of a white man as a high priest. Give me a robe. I told you, I told you we shouldn't have gone. Do you know what will happen to us now? You keep forgetting one thing. The Mahazanims are not the only people in this country. Oh, they're fanatics, terrorists, call them whatever you want. But your brother knows how to stamp them out. Them, aren't you forgetting this? I am a Mahazanim now. I can no longer control what I say and do. I don't believe it. But you were there tonight. You saw you That's must right, be... Your Highness. I believe it. I believe that Dr. Felsen's little fraternity is just about washed up. Dr. Felsen, do you mean... The high priest. I waited for him outside the cave. Well, what do you know? What's his angle? I don't know. He got away. How many roads out of the city? Well, only the one on which you came. Well, he'll try to cross the border and we'll have to stop him. It's almost light. He'll try to cross while it's still dark. Well, there's a shortcut near the new bridge. Good. You go with Tubo. Now, as soon as you alert the border guard, I'll meet you at Baylor's office. No. No, I can't go. Alini, listen to me. You're under no spell except in your own mind. Now, think. Did Dr. Felsen talk to you tonight? Yes, of course he did. Did he touch you? On the hand? I don't know. He may have. I don't know. What do you think it is, a chemical? I don't know. I'm going to search his room. I'll see you at Baylor's. was my friend. If the Mahazanim caught him, they'd probably kill him right on the spot. You know, what I can't understand is what possessed the man to take such risks. Just to sabotage your program here. Have you told the Maharaja? No, I thought I'd better leave that to you. And where's your friend Smith? Well, he'd be along in a minute. I told him to meet me here. If Felsen had been a member of a rival company, I might understand it. 
But no other firm has been interested in bidding for this work. Filson was an expert on primitive psychology. He knew just how to inflame the fanatical minds of the Mahazanam. What's that? I think it's the source of all these strange marks that have been appearing. It smells like some kind of acid. And just strong enough to leave an angry permanent scar wherever it touches the body. I found it when I was searching Felsom's room. Hey, Tim. You'll be interested in this too, Mr. Baylor. It's part of the bridge they're building down south of the city. Let me see that. And that ain't all. They're building the roads and the dams and everything out of this stuff. They ain't kidding about this being a doomed city. The Mohazanam sect proved very useful in preventing information of that sort from straying too far. Come in, Doc. And over there, both of you. You two had your chance to leave Buonicini before you found out too much. Too bad you didn't take it. Now, you must have made quite a fortune defrauding the Maharaja and embezzling the company. Yes, quite a fortune. Earthquake! <laughs> Especially that earthquake weakened it. The ancient prophecy is fulfilled. Rakalon is doomed. Oh, city may be. There's no sense letting the people go with it. You call the police. The people of Rakalon must be evacuated to high ground. It's got to take all of us. Come on, let's go. Obviously, it wasn't so far wrong after all. The city is dead. But it will be reborn. And this time, right. And it will be. Ah, wherever it touches the body. I found it when I was searching Felsom's room. Hey, Tim. You'll be interested in this too, Mr. Baylor. It's part of the bridge they're building down south of the city. Let me see that. And that ain't all. They're building the roads and the dams and everything out of this stuff. They ain't kidding about this being a doomed city. The Mohazanam sect proved very useful in preventing information of that sort from straying too far. Come in, Doc. And over there, both of you. 
right over there, both of you. You two had your chance to leave Buonicini before you found out too much. Too bad you didn't take it. Now, you must have made quite a fortune defrauding the Maharaja and embezzling the company. Yes, quite a fortune. Earthquake! <laughs> Especially that earthquake's weakened it. The ancient prophecy is fulfilled. Rockalon is doomed. Oh, city may be. There's no sense letting the people go with it. And call the police. The people of Rockalon must be evacuated to high ground. It's got to take all of us. Come on, let's go. was my friend. If the Mahas and him caught him, they'd probably kill him right on the spot. You know, what I can't understand is what possessed the man to take such risks. Just to sabotage your program here. Have you told the Maharaja? No, I thought I'd better leave that to you. And where's your friend Smith? Well, he'd be long in a minute. I told him to meet me here. If Felson had been a member of a rival company, I might understand it. But no other firm has been interested in bidding for this work. Filson was an expert on primitive psychology. He knew just how to inflame the fanatical minds of the Mahaslam. What's that? I think it's the source of all these strange marks that have been appearing. It smells like some kind of acid. And just strong enough to leave an angry permanent scar wherever it touches the body. I found it when I was searching Felson's room. Hey, Tim. You'll be interested in this too, Mr. Baylor. It's part of the bridge they're building down south of the city. Let me see that. And that ain't all. They're building the roads and the dams and everything out of this stuff. They ain't kidding about this being a doomed city. The Mohazanam sect proved very useful in preventing information of that sort from straying too far. Come in, Doc. And over there, both of you. You two had your chance to leave Buonicini before you found out too much. Too bad you didn't take it. You must have made quite a fortune defrauding the Maharaja and embezzling the company. Yes, quite a fortune. Earthquake!
the one on which you came. Well, he'll try to cross the border and we'll have to stop him. It's almost light. He'll try to cross while it's still dark. Well, there's a shortcut near the new bridge. Good. You go with Tubo. Now, as soon as you alert the border guard, I'll meet you at Baylor's office. No. No, I can't go. Alini, listen to me. You're under no spell except in your own mind. Now, think. Did Dr. Felsen talk to you tonight? Yes, of course he did. Did he touch you? On the hand? I don't know. He may have. I don't know. What do you think it is, a chemical? I don't know. I'm going to search his room. I'll see you at Baylor's. Nelson was my friend. If the Mahasnim caught him, they'd probably kill him right on the spot. You know, what I can't understand is what possessed the man to take such risks. Just to sabotage your program here. Have you told the Maharaja? No, I thought I'd better leave that to you. And where's your friend Smith? Well, he'd be long in a minute. I told him to meet me here. If Felson had been a member of a rival company, I might understand it. But no other firm has been interested in bidding for this work. Filson was an expert on primitive psychology. He knew just how to inflame the fanatical minds of the Mahasnam. What's that? I think it's the source of all these strange marks that have been appearing. It smells like some kind of acid. And just strong enough to leave an angry permanent scar wherever it touches the body. I found it when I was searching Felson's room. Hey, Tim. You'll be interested in this too, Mr. Baylor. It's part of the bridge they're building down south of the city. Let me see that. And that ain't all. They're building the roads and the dams and everything out of this stuff. They ain't kidding about this being a doomed city. The Mohazanam sect proved very useful in years, but his people aren't. When you start lifting the face of a country as old as Boaunisini, you discover that what you've been working on is not a face, but a mask. A thin veneer covering something that hasn't been touched in 10,000 years. I thought I understood these people and could help them. Now I don't know. Scott called you a missionary with an engineer's degree. <laughs> I guess he isn't far wrong at that. Only the light I want to bring them is in the form of kilowatts. You know, there's a wealth of natural resources in Buanisini. Power, industry, and with proper irrigation and farming, this little border country could become a model for all the rest of Asia to follow. But the job isn't half done yet. And it may never be, thanks to the Mohazanim. And what are the Mohazanim? The Mohazanim is a religious sect that has successfully been putting a superstitious monkey wrench into the works. Ready to go when you are. Mr. Kelly, Smith, Doc Felson. Oh. Doc is the true humanitarian. He spent the best years of his life trying to pound some simple facts of health into the stubborn minds around here. I finally got the royal cook of the palace to boil the water. But he wears it in a flask hung around his neck to ward off the evil spirits. We've loaded the bodies aboard the supply truck for the trip back. Anything else to go? We'd better collect the records and any personal things. I'm afraid camp number three will have to be shut down for a while. Well, we're here to take any orders, Mr. Baylor. Thanks, but that doesn't include making yourselves human targets for a Muhazanim knife. As a matter of fact, you fellows have my permission to turn right around and leave. We'll stay as long as you do, Mr. Baylor. Well, we'd better finish up here. If we get back in time, you can have an audience with the Maharaja. His Highness has arranged 
for you to have these quarters during your stay at the palace, Saeeds. Hey, that's pretty classy. His Highness would be honored to have your company at supper this evening. Tell the Maharaj we'd be delighted. The servants speak English. You have only to make your wishes known. I think we can unpack by ourselves, don't you, Tubo? If we need anything, we'll call. Your Highness. Leave us. I am the Maharaja's sister. Tubo Smith, that's your service, ma'am. I mean, Your Highness. This is Mr. Kelly. How do you do? What I have to say would be best not overheard. You will close the door, please. How can we help you, Your Highness? I want you to convince the Maharaja that he must abandon his... On our hands. Why? Why should I take you there? Prove your point. Or ours. And what is your point? That these killings and riots are... Well, they just aren't revolt of your people. I can't do it. Why not? Don't you understand if we're caught, it would mean instant death? If you don't, it'll mean that you're deeper in this than we'd like to believe. I've told you everything I know. You can't force me to take you there. Well, we can tell your brother. If I were to take you there, and if you were to see with your own eyes that Mahazanim is the will of the people, what then? We tell Mr. Bailey that you're right. And Tubo and I would leave your country. Very well. Outside the West Gate at midnight. I shall bring you robes. Do not speak. Keep your faces covered. attend the next meeting, doesn't it? No, women are not permitted to attend. I shall probably receive instructions later. But you know when the ceremony is? Tonight, I believe. Good. That's where we're going. That's impossible. You know the place? Well, yes, but... Bring two black robes. Two will now fake the spots on our hands. Why? Why should I take you there? To prove your point. Or ours. And what is your point? That these killings and riots are... Well, they just aren't revolt of your people. I can't do it. Why not? Don't you understand if we're caught, it would mean instant death? If you don't, it'll mean that you're deeper in this than we'd like to believe. I've told you everything I know. You can't force me to take you there. Well, we can tell your brother. If I were to take you there, and... 
If you were to see with your own eyes that Mahazanim is the will of the people, what then? We tell Mr. Bailey that you're right. Tubo and I would leave your country. Very well. Outside the West Gate at midnight. I shall bring you robes. Do not speak. Keep your faces covered. In a clearing room, La Carre. Bin Joba Le Luka Korai. 